<laughs> Happy <laughs> New Year! <laughs> Old Uncle Donkey. Uncle <laughs> <laughs> <G> Donkey. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to youtube.com slash geek aloud. It's, what is this, a Tuesday night? It's Tuesday night, it's 8 p.m. So it's a live Let's Play here on Geek Aloud. Welcome, uh, make yourself known in the chat, say hi. Hi Charlie, thank you for the lovely note, mate. I see you after your walk. I will see you back in here shortly. Now, this is Control. Now I've platinumed Control on PlayStation 5, on the PS5, uh, but I'm playing it through now on the Xbox because the game is absolutely phenomenal. But I'll note that we're picking it up, um, we're about the halfway mark because, in my opinion, the game needs an editor on a narrative standpoint for that first two and a half hours. If they could trim that first two and a half hours down to about half an hour, this game would be flawless front to back. It just takes a bit too long to get into the really cool stuff. Speaking of the really cool stuff... Oh! <laughs> that was asking for it. That was absolutely asking for it. <laughs> Set myself up beautifully for a fail there. Obviously, I wasn't trying to hit the generator just in front of me with that throwing thing. That blew up, killed myself. That was a misfire from me. Uh, what I was trying to do was hit the bad guy over the back with it. But... Just one of the cool little things about the game, I guess. With no risk, there can be no reward. All right, let's try that again. Hopefully, have I done the exact same thing and ran the wrong way? I have no idea why I'm running the wrong way in here. Anyway, out we go. All right, where are these bad guys at? This time we won't hit that generator. Oh, and we still missed. Oh, there we go. Now that's the power of the generators. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just leaping to my death. I actually, uh, <laughs> as I said, I finished it on the uh, PlayStation. At the end, there's a levitate ability. I actually just jumped up there and thought I'd hover with the levitate ability, but I haven't unlocked it yet. So I plunged to my death. That was awesome. Shortly, we'll un un unlock the levitate, and then there'll be even better stuff. All right, now, third time's a charm. We're not going that way. We're going this way. Now, I'm just trying to think, my brother's keeper, containment, that's not the right... No, we're in containment, that's the right thing, we're in the right area. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what our current objective is, we'll work it out shortly, though. Boom! All right, well, that certainly started a bit better. Now, I'm wondering whether this is the time when we're meant to go up and over. It maybe is? Nope. <laughs> Maybe you must have unlocked Levitate. There's a bit where you go up. Oh, the face cam's out. I've got it. Here it comes. It's coming back as soon as I find the right button. There it is. Coming back. All right, this will go a lot more smoothly this time. I really, I'm going to have to look up the quest and just work it with the other thing I'll note, this definitely takes longer to load on the Xbox than it did the PlayStation. 100% the PlayStation, uh, after dying somewhat foolishly like that, I was definitely back in the action quicker. No question, but let me just... There's no trackpad on this. Here we go, missions. Where are we here? My brother's keeper, what are we trying to do? Containment sector. Hmm, that really doesn't help me. <laughs> Complete the training requires I... Complete the training course in a good enough time. I haven't uh, unlocked enough skills to quite nail that. Uh, what's this? Fridge duty. Oh, now, that fridge one is great, but we have to finish the My Brother's Keeper first. And I'm just trying to remember. I have no idea where we're meant to be heading at this point. Well, we know we have to kill these guys. Maybe it's just the other end. That's always possible. Oh, he dodged. He dodged. <laughs> oh, excellent. And I've got one of those bureau missions to uh, kill 50 people without dying. So 
With the start we've had, that should be interested. I wonder if it's the bit in here or if we've already done this bit. I have no idea if we've already done the Twisted Passions. This might be the first time we're seeing it. The way that light came on, I might have landed in the right area. Maybe. Although I thought there'd be creepy voices if we were actually up to this bit. I would have thought, oh no, the red light at the end. I think we're in the right area. I think we've caught up. Look at this. Perfect. <laughs> well, that didn't land. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, we're up to a boss fight. Oh, out of energy. That's not good. Oh man, this guy is going to destroy me. I think when I played uh, against this boss on the PlayStation, I think I had significantly uh, more abilities unlocked. Oh! Is that him? That's got to be him up the back, right? Oh. Oh man, I was so going for the two for one deal on the... Uh, on the throw, if you line it up correctly, you can get the objects to bounce off two bad guys when you throw them. All right, where is he? Oh, <laughs> I thought that was him. That was not him. Oh, come on. Man, it's hard to see sometimes. I cannot even see. That was a blind throw in the hope of contact. Oh, that hurt. Oh, the boss guy's on this side. No wonder I'm getting owned. Uh, I need to desperately run and get some health. Dang, I was just about to sprint up the back of the room and grab some health. I didn't realise the boss was there. He totally owned me. Totally owned me. Hey, James, how you doing, man? Welcome, James. Where are you at with Control, buddy? Have you played it? Are you interested? Did you grab it when it was free? Last month. Ah, uh, wrong way again. It's this way and over. Oh, Boom! Man, I love that. Oh! <laughs> if that, uh, what was that, forklift? If that forklift hadn't have been there, that would have been perfect. All right. Oh, more guys coming. Oh, look at this. I might even be able to summon a guy here and take in with me into the boss fight a free dude. Oh no, he's fighting somebody else. Who's he fighting? I was hoping to take a minion into the boss fight. Here we go. Second minion for the boss fight, hopefully. I very may well have just launched and killed one of my minions off the back, I reckon. Oh, come on, get him. <laughs> Man, that's a cool effect. All right, why is there still fighting going on? Come with me into the boss room. Ah, oh, dang. I shot him one too many times. Oh. We don't need to stand there and fight these guys. Let's just go for the boss. Woo! Hey, Sean Games, how you doing? That's cool, man. I love the Deadpool movies. They're great. Absolutely great. Now, if I can work out where this wall was I was supposed to be jumping up, where is it? Here we go. Oh, Oh, now I've done it. <laughs> Working beautifully this evening. Man, they just need to put a slight spin on that as you run down and it would really do your head in. If it was rotating ever so slightly. This time, yes. Oh, here we go. All right, now we know not to waste that first launch on him. We gotta wait. Oh, 
Boom. Where is he? I can't see him. He's disappeared. Oh, there he is. Man, if only we could uh, have a little bit more shot on him. We'd have half a chance here. I'm really regretting jumping off that ledge at this point. All right, where's he at? I can hear him. There we go. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Someone's behind me, but I'm hoping it doesn't matter. Ooh. There's that generator down the other back side there. Oh, can I get him too late? Dang. I thought I was going to be able to summon that guy to work for me then. Oh! <laughs> Missed throw with the biggest object in here. Oh, man, I need health. Oh, that was so close. I should have darted for health first. Whoopsie. Platinum Hitman 3. Sean Games, I wish I had Platinum Hitman 3. No, I haven't. I am slowly working on it, but I'm still sitting at, I think, 48%. Although I did unlock the, um, uh, I didn't even realize I was close to getting it, but on the, uh, what's that, uh, Dartmoor, I want to say, second level, uh, with the, um, you know, murder mystery. Oh, too far. With the, uh, Dartmoor murder mystery, I... I accidentally got the trophy for killing her three different ways. I didn't realize I killed her. I just sniped her and it just happened to be the third way. But I surprised myself by popping a trophy for the Dartmoor level uh, a couple of days ago, two, three days ago, something like this. So yes, I am still working on that platinum, but no, nowhere near it, unfortunately. I'll get there though. I will get there now that, um, now that I've platinum control, I've sort of put it down and moved on. I wanted to share a bit of a, a bit of a deeper play because I didn't feel it had gotten a fair shake on the channel. Let's go back up to that box because that's actually a pretty good way we started on the last one. Come on, buddy. Man, that I feel like that first time we. <laughs> that was like his minion landed on his head. <laughs> oh, man, he's protected from something. There we go. Uh-oh. Man, missile launcher dude, never good. Now I need to get up the back to where that health is. Look at it all. Sitting there, ready for me to take it. All right. Oh, man, that was a big hit. Come on, dart across the floor, get that health. Oh man, that is not the boss. I thought I had the boss worked out. Oh. <laughs> Quick, get over to the health. Get over to that health. <sighs> oh man, he's returning fire beautifully. Oh. oh, man, I don't even know what killed me that time. Something got me good. Something got me real good. Yeah, favourite level of Hitman 3. I can do that, Sean Games. I indeed will. I will. I will do that. Uh, what day is this? This is Tuesday. How about we make that Thursday stream? We'll rock it. We will lock it in right now. Thursday's stream this week, in two nights' time, we will do one Hitman 1 level and one Hitman 2 level in Hitman 3. Absolutely, Sean Game. Sounds like a great idea, man. That is the plan. We shall do just that. Oh, now, can I X him? Oh, he's just not quite letting me uh, possess him. Man, I wish I could possess that big ball dude for the end. Oh, let's just, uh, let's just go for the boss fight, shall we?
Now, that if we can get that first spot up on the left, if we can get up there and sort of half drill him and then bounce over to the right, I reckon that is probably a play worth playing. Let's see if we can't just... Over here, up here. Part of me wants to see if I can, like, get up on this back wall somewhere. Oh. Well, we can already see this isn't a good spot. Oh, oh man, that was nasty. <laughs> Just straight into him, straight into him. I wish I could remember how I did this now uh, when I played it through on PlayStation. I remember walking through this guy, I think on the first attempt, if not the first attempt, straight into the second. Uh, I'm not sure. How, I wish I could remember what strategy I employed. Part of me thinks maybe I was just so overpowered when I walked in there the first time. Uh, it was a non-issue. Oh, wow. I can't even run in a straight line right now. I love that big middle centre bit, though. It looks so cool, that whole crane in the middle bit. I've run through it so many times now, it doesn't uh, doesn't grab me the way it used to, but I realise I have not streamed much of all of this game as much as I love it. I haven't streamed much of it, so... Uh, my apologies if I neglect to point out the super cool things that are happening right in front of you as uh, I've put a... I wonder what my hour count would be. I've got to be over 30 hours at this point. Probably maybe 35 at a guess. Oh, look at him go. Slow and steady, I reckon, is the... Uh, is going to be the ticket. Oh, oh, man. Oh, too far. <laughs> too far. I am getting my teeth kicked in on this guy. Which way is he throwing from? Do I want him on the other side so his arm's obscured? His throwing arm, if he was on the other side, would be obscured by the pole and I might be able to get him to throw his debris into the pole directly in front of him, somewhat like the way I did uh, with, that <laughs> with the first generator, if you remember that. Maybe if I run in and go on the other side, we might be able to um, get him to shoot the wrong thing. Oh my god, it's still so cool. I just love the pick up and throw stuff. Which is why I so don't understand what they're thinking with that uh, dodgeball game. Like when control exists, why are you trying to build a game where you throw and bounce a ball off people? I don't get it. It's just not for me. I should just accept that the game is not for me and move on. Hey Charlie, how you doing? Oh good man, never apologise. Here for you, sir. Whenever you're ready, we are here. How was your walk, buddy? I hope it was a good one. Alright, we're going to try for the other side this time. <laughs> Just pestering him with a chair right next to him. Oh, come on, recharge. Where is he? Ooh. Now, do we run and get health? We're going to have to, aren't we? We're going to run and get health and gently does it. Oh, man, I wish I could just get up on that corner bit. Oh, this is not going well. A little bit of health there from him. Did he have a friend up here? No, I don't want to be standing on that side. He absolutely destroyed me there last time. Oh, man, that hurt.
All right, now if I can get that dude's health, we've got half a chance. Okay, the missile launcher dude is on the field. We need to be very mindful of that guy. Now I want to get over there for the health. Oh, the, not, not a great time for the boss to <laughs> re-emerge. Oh man, I honestly thought I got the boss before he threw that then. Man, if only I could get down there and get that health. There it is, quick. Here we go. Oh, come on, we got him here, surely. Surely this is the time. Close. We're close. Oh, did we get him? That thing was Salvador. Yes. There it is. Team didn't stand a chance against the hits. Perfect. No one here does. Woo! All right. Job done. Ooh, collectible. Okay. Maybe. I'll get my collectible first. Thank you, Jesse. All right, here we go. Here we go again. Oh, I haven't checked my playtime on Hitman 3. I am totally guessing. 40 hours? A guess? A guess is 40 hours because it's over two consoles. So it's hard for me to keep everything in mind. All right, here's Levitate. We were talking about Levitate earlier. Oops. All right, now, with this ability unlocked, back out in that main room, we can levitate our way up and get on that, um, to the next section in that main sector. Now, from memory... I think this is a relatively straightforward unlocking of an ability. I don't even... I don't even know if... Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I'm just reading this on screen. It's saying it'll be a slow descent. And I'm like, yes, this is all things I know. I just wondered whether maybe there was going to be a... Uh, I was going to find out suddenly there was part of a tool set I hadn't been using. Oh, there's some bad guys. But we'll just ignore them and exit. There we go. Although I probably could have picked up two more kills for my kill 50 people without dying. Bizzo. Okay. I can find Dylan. All right. Levitate ability, and now we can work our way up on the main bit. Uh, so, oh, now there's plenty of health in this room, sure. Oh, just not quite. How cool does that look? I love flying through there with just the lighting and everything. That looks so great. Big fan. Oh. Oh, don't, don't duck out of the way of my throwing stuff. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> they must have been right on top of me. Reset that 50 counter anyway. <laughs> A nice Ferrari. That's cool. Good on you, Charlie. That's awesome. Yes, Ghost of Tsushima is amazing. I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. Are you going for that platinum in it, or uh, are you just happy to see the story through? From memory, you're not a trophy guy, but uh, I could be wrong. Could be wrong. All right, now we use Levitate to get up over there. And isn't that a lot easier with the skill unlocked? All right, now, up the stairs. Now, I can't recall. Do we need to levitate up? Is he up one higher, I think? Or is he going on this level? 
Can't see an obvious levitate up spot. So I guess uh, personal protection. Oh, I do need to do the bureau alerts. Oops, too late. It's gone. <laughs> oh, well. Now, where, oh, where is our brother? Take the collectible, though. There's a there's an achievement slash trophy for, I think it's 180 collectibles. Uh, which, fortunately, isn't every collectible in the game, thank goodness. But uh, it is a fair few of them. Like, I was collecting pretty ferociously, and I didn't unlock it until later in the, later in the session. Dylan. Ah, here we go. He's Dylan's so cell. Close. Dylan, of course, is our main character, Jesse's brother. Separated uh, when they were young children. Oh, I know to everybody, I'm just reading the uh, YouTube chat here, the live chat. But if you're watching this as video on demand after the fact, you can read the live chat replay. So even if you're watching this later, you can uh, hit the two speech bubbles uh, under the player window and it'll turn on live chat replay. And then you can see all the messages from... Uh, from Charlie and Sean and the fellas uh, on the chat there and keep up with me and... Yes, uh, it's amazing. Sean Games is playing Ratchet and Clank. Now, Sean, did you just pick that up at the minute? Because I believe they just made uh, Ratchet and Clank free for Jamie. all. Emily? I believe it's currently free. If you don't have Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank in your digital library on the PlayStation. Look it up on the store because I think it's free this month. You can Jesse, add it to your library free of charge. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. Jesse's creepy brother who looks like a chubby hitman. I have to see my brother. Oh, we don't have a level six access card yet. I'm dreaming. All right, collectible on the floor. Oh, what am I using staircases for? I, I have all sorts of abilities. I don't need to be uh, following staircases. I'm not even sure if there's anything we need to pick up in here, being that other than the fact that it's our creepy name, that's uh, we have flashbacks to this room or flash forwards. I guess they're foreshadowing. Uh, there's a few flash forwards to this room before you see it in this state. Uh, a bit of foreshadowing with this character. I'm uh, thinking there's nothing else in here for us to do. So we are going to go back to a checkpoint. Uh, and fly back because we just heard over the intercom the brothers appeared somewhere else. Now, I cannot remember how to get into that room. Maybe that was through the other room. Now, I believe this is just an airlock slowly closing. Oh, I'm opening the wrong one by running to the wrong end. I was just trying to check out the debris that the environmental artists had left on the ground. Uh, and instead trigger the thing. All right, now, what do we need? We need a fast travel point. Or are we, like, all the way down? Uh, where is our fast travel point? Uh, am I up still too high? Or is that the broken bit? And that was the twisted staircase? Oh, I'm so confused. I think it's down here. I'm just, oh! <laughs> I'm just looking... Oh, there it is right there. Fast travel point. Thank you. All right. Oh, we've got abilities to spend. Let's... Uh, more health or more energy? Line ball call. We'll go with energy. Because throwing stuff at people is a lot of fun. And that needs energy. Uh, board countermeasures, what do we got? Ah, collect reward, of course. A horse is a horse. Of course, of course. All right, now, fast, whoops, wrong one. Fast travel to the boardroom, which is back up at the top section, executive level. Pushing on, we're finding out about the creepy brother 
this is actually a very good point in the story. They're going to do... Uh, it's the first time he's only been mentioned. Jesse's brother has only been mentioned up until now, quite heavily. Like, he's he's the central focus of the game. We've been searching for him, but this is the first time we're actually going to sit in a room with him uh, and get a feel for his level of creep. What is this? Oh, jukebox token. Very good. So the jukebox tokens, I believe... Now I'm asking about them. The face animations in this are uncanny valley. Weirdest places. Like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope. Just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? Now, I'm not positive, but I think that's uh, wave-based DLC. It's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry. You just don't know where. Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Jack I'm not sure why she's so mean to him the whole time. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. I could think of it. The song should have run back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. <laughs> I'd appreciate that. That actually is the first time I've wondered what the duration of the in-world time is, like how much time passes from start to back in this game. It's a very long game. It would be quite surprising if, um, like she's saying, a couple of hours. At this point, you know, I've been playing for weeks. Uh, it feels like she's been director of the Bureau for a long time. But we don't want to do the jukebox thing now, guys. We want to do the main mission. Where is he? Oh, actually, I could show you this one. Let's just briefly do this one. So these are um, these are from the normal point of the room. Oh, and look at this. It's even in the mail room. Dead letters? Is dead letters in the mail room? This is the mail room. It's nice and close at least. Um, so this has been in from the start of the game and they're just like little random encounters. You just basically get a radio call, hey, go to this room uh, and fight, you know. It's not many. It's 10 or 20 bad guys just to help control uh, the room and you've just got the time period to do it in is the sort of gotcha I love that there's no friendly fire, so I'm like throwing these explosive canisters across the room and hitting somebody that's being fought, but I don't hit my guy. I love it. So good. Now, where is there? There's... Oh, they're upstairs. <laughs> I love it when I accidentally throw something toward myself. Like when it comes through the enemy and then flies straight at the screen. That's the best. Oh, we got this. Oh, maybe not with the big guy. Oh, how did we miss? Oh, there's three big dudes. We're in all sorts of trouble. He's got to be close. All right. Two of the three down. <laughs> I love that little... Just the little bump that they get when the objects hit them. Just the, the animation of the interruption humors me. <laughs> small things of using small minds, I think, but... Um... Ah, oh, boo! Oh, my health!
All right. Is that... Oh, I thought that was going to be the final wave. Nope. More to go. I love this gun. It's so fast. It's... Uh, what are, I think it's called the spin gun. All right. There we go. So that's those tiny little encounters. Oh, face cam's gone. I'm onto it. I'm onto it. Sean Gaines got it for free when it was on PlayStation Pass. Good work. <laughs> that guy's face is freaky, but so is Jesse's. Like, everybody's face in this game looks so creepy. Like, it's just the uncanny valley effect. Oh, yeah, great. Jukebox tokens. No, thanks. All right, fast traveling. Back to executive. We can turn in that quest we just did, but then we'll get back on the main, the main track, and we will speak to Jesse. Oh, I, oh, so I think I speak to her in the boardroom, and then I think she says, "We put him in an office." Just I think he's just up those stairs there, but I think I have to speak to her first. <laughs> I have no idea about the science talk they do throughout this game. Like, they make reference to the technology and the various things, and it all just so far over my head, the stuff they say. After all these years, like, it sounds like impressive here. science dialogue to me, but what, what do I, I know? It could be an absolute joke, you know, of lines. It could be total nonsense. I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other. You gotta take it, Tally. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. Yeah. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Or is he? Bum, bum, bum. Of an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay. Yeah, mate, get that platinum. Jesse, I love it. Good work. Be careful. And Jesse, be careful. <laughs> so very Austin Powers. I don't know if they're trying to reference Austin Powers. Oh, another clickable. I don't know whether they're trying to reference Austin Powers in that. But it uh, certainly comes across that way when she says it. Oh, and Jesse, do be careful. Thanks. All right, here's the brother. So creepy. You are a one through time. Shit. Thunders come distorts you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Come on, Dylan. I'm here. So creepy. Do you know who I am? You know me. And don't you know who I am? You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. <laughs> Never a good sign when someone's talking oh, in the third it's... person. <laughs> Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The prospect 6. Better. The P stands for Prospect. Uh, prospective the Director. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. So creepy. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. <laughs> you need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You. Oh. You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only truth, the 
We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. This is so creepy. Even though I know the game and how it goes, it still creeps me out. Opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trunch took me away. See, now the Uncanny Valley works in that character's favor. Because him looking extra freaky is fine. My own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. <laughs> to the song time for all of us, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. Oh, and uh, the really cool thing is you can get... Um, so Jesse is the seventh prospect. He's P7, but she's... He's P6. She's P7. And later on in the game, you get to run around in those same pajamas with P7 written on them as Jesse. And uh, it's as creepy as it sounds. Like you were an inmate all along. It's really the way they flip the script. It's crazy good. We stopped the altered world event in ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. Honey, your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I the Sean, I have not platinum Brechet and Clank. I have no idea about the difficulty, mate. Uh, I'm a big fan, though, of true, tr true trophies. I was going to say true achievements. Uh, same company, but they do a Xbox centric site, true achievements, uh, and then they do true trophies. I would check true trophies, mate, to see how difficult the platinum is for Ratchet. I've got no idea, but they should have, they usually have the estimate on that website, you know, 20 to 30 hours or whatever it is. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. The new Jumanji Charlie? I've seen the two new ones with uh, Dwayne Johnson in them. Big fan of both of those films. They're real fun. Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. DB DI, sorry. BBZ94. Glad you love control. Yes. Get back into that DLC. You, you might know. It's the jukebox uh, DLC. I believe the jukebox content is DLC, but I'm not sure. All right. Containment. Contaminant. Prime candidate program. All right. Where are we off to? Back down here. Oh, yeah, look at this. Into logistics. Oh, this side. Oh, all right. I remember being incredibly confused and lost. Uh, in this section when I played through it on PlayStation. So hopefully, hopefully I don't get uh, incredibly lost in the next couple of minutes. Good plat, not too hard. There we go, perfect. I dropped the jewels too much. <laughs> yes, Charlie, yes. Uh, all right, now, where are we going off? It's like back and to the right. And from memory, I think it's... Oh, gosh, I just can't remember the entry point for this section of the... Uh... Oh, sounds like we're close. We've upset somebody. Now is there? I oh, see. I'm so not in this section. Ah, gosh. Now I'm pretty sure that's the tail. I think you come out there. I think you go in at the top. 
Oh my gosh. If anyone can remember where we enter this point, feel free to sing it out in the chat. I would not be offended. <laughs> I just finished the game on PlayStation last week. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to work this out. But here we are. Man, I can hear that. There they are. I can hear them all. Oh, is that a two for one? That's like a two for one, I think. Oh. Oh, let's capture him. Let's send him after him. There we go. Oh, <laughs> that guy totally blew up right on top of my head. Stop an explosion to the face. Oh man, that guy got me. Oh, just in time. Oh, not the shotgun. We're looking for our... Uh... Oh, that was beautiful. That was like true teamwork. He uh, he knocked him up once, and my one came in the second one. All right, now we need to get up and out there. Is it up here? That really looks like you should be able to jump up and over, doesn't it? But not the case. All right, it's around and up. Hmm. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now we're talking. Boom. We made it. We're in. All right. Hard part done. <laughs> oh, it's such a cool effect. Doesn't matter how many times you do it. Uh, Self-reflection. Do I want to do that? Sure. From memory, the self-reflection thing... Uh, there's a trophy off the back end of it when you do the side mission is the reason I grabbed it. Oh, and this effect is cool. So this, I believe, is the previous directors, like, silhouetted on each other. They're speckled throughout the game as you do, like, main level missions. They can sort of come in and just give you a little bit of context on the way through. Oh, get me out of here before that guy explodes. Uh-oh, he's going to explode on me. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, these floating guys can be real trouble. Oh, that guy was close behind me when he blew up. Oh, that guy's hitting hard. I love it, our recharge time is the same. So just as I get ready to launch something and kill him, <laughs> it's recovering from the last one. Boom, there he goes, sit down. Anyone else? Oh yeah. Oh, boom. I love it. All right. Now, wasn't there a big uh, ball thing floating around somewhere? Ah, there he is. Oh. 
the music cue would suggest that encounter's over, but I didn't kill the uh, wolf. <laughs> it opened the door, so we're good to proceed. I swear there must have previously been some other... At some point during development, there must have been some other use for those... Um, the bunkers that are in the walls, those little safe rooms that I just cleared out, they're speckled throughout. They're never far away, but they're only ever really good for, like, the occasional pickup. It feels like there's so many of them, I wonder whether at some point, whether they weren't the checkpoints that we're using to respawn from. Like, they're these sort of random spots now with the uh, circle on the ground and the line mark. Am I going back the wrong way? Oh, God. No. Bring up your map, mate. Which way are you facing? <laughs> I am totally going the wrong way. Aren't I? I think I am totally going the wrong way. I think I need to go this way. I hope. Well, oh, P7, that's me, surely. I am P7. Wanted me to see. It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. There's my outfit. So this is, uh, we just picked up that creepy tracksuit I was telling you about where Jessie was P7. You can hear her. And now that's the first time it's revealed that um, the Bureau has been keeping tabs on this main character throughout her life. Like, the real revelation, that, uh, that room. Quite freaky when you play it through. All right, we've opened that now. We're good. We've got the shortcuts happening. That's the place to start looking. The thing that never becomes clear to me in this, like, the story about her is that her and her brother found one of these objects of powers when they were younger and, you know, that's sort of central to the plot. But it's never clear to me whether... Because they, it's such a large part of the Bureau, her and her brother's past, they keep coming back to it. I just, I wonder, part of me wonders whether these guys aren't the first directors and also the sixth and seventh, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it feels like there's a much greater story happening in Control, and I just hope there's going to be a sequel and be fleshed out. There's a lot of... As with any good, you know, horror or suspense piece, there's so many bits, so many questions left unanswered at the end of it that it's dripping. It's dripping with enough detail for a sequel. But I've certainly never heard of them saying they're making a control sequel. And I haven't played the... I haven't finished, I should say, the DLC. I have played some of it. So I don't know whether there's more answers uh, from within that. Obviously, there's the... Um, Alan Wake stuff. They've tied all their universes together, so maybe there's more answers in some uh, Alan Wake IP yet to be discovered, possibly. Jukebox was added in post-launch. Hey, it's Chris. How you doing, Chris? House and being the director, just another cell. Oh, here we go. Now, if we. If we can get uh, nine more dudes without dying, we will unlock something else. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Man, if this, if that third guy had been a, um, another one of those exploding guys, I would totally have been done. I really need a friend here. <laughs> Man, I love the ragdoll effects. Love to know how much time they spent perfecting these ragdoll effects with the animation. Oh, there's the 50 as well. Ah. Oh. I completed the task right on top of the turning point. You gotta love that. That's perfect. <laughs> I 
<laughs> We're going back home. All right. Now, that is indeed the next part. Oh, wait. Maybe I don't need to travel. It's board countermeasures. It's, it's collection from right there. All right. Uh, what else do we have here? Surge mode. No, thank you. All right. Here we go. So now this is their... Oh, are we not quite there yet? Oh, I won't say what it is. We're about to get to a really cool room, but I won't say what it is before we get there. I'll explain it once we see it. Was that a two for one with the blokes in the chair? That was uh, pretty sweet. I'll take that action. Uh, now, is it just collectible there? All right. Oh, red level mod. Now we're talking. I need to look at some of my mods and apply them. I reckon I may have just gotten an upgrade. Now, I thought the control room was just there. Yes, here we go. <laughs> I can't work out whether those guys are crippled and in wheelchairs or whether they were being interrogated and they actually had their wrists bound to the hand straps or something. Either way, it doesn't look good. Something's blocking it. Oh, old mate in the... Possibly tied to a chair. Possibly just crippled, we're not sure. Something's blocking. I'll make it! Ah! <laughs> All right, now we're into the really cool room, I think. I think. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure we're about to see a really cool room. Ah! Nope! There's a whole section of gameplay before the really cool room I was thinking of. We are in the lead up to it, but uh, there's a few things to go yet. I apologize. Now, why is it still sending me, trying to send me back there? I'm sure we're meant to be going this way now. I think that's just that big circle, mushy electric ball thing causing that. All right, where is he? I got the feeling he's behind me, isn't he? I can't see anyone. Oh, there he is. Ah. <laughs> All right, come on now. Oh, nope, death. Death to my face is what's going on there. Uh, Charlie, a lot of people are saying the pump is returned to Fortnite. The pump is returned to Fortnite. I'm not with you on that one, sorry, Charlie. Now, where have I spawned in relation to where I want to be going? Isn't it downstairs? Ding! No ding? Is that a slow moving elevator? What's happened? Oh, have I gone the wrong way? Do we need to be up this way? I thought it was back that way. Boom! <laughs> oh man! Exploding corpses! Look out! Here we go!
I have no idea to the rhyme or reason in which sometimes those guys are the best chair flies around and they can dodge everything. And then other times, you throw stuff at them and they just sit there. It's, uh, it's odd. Now, are we going to get re-ambushed? Oh, yeah, we totally are. I have no idea where he is. Oh, there he is. Oh! Oh, that audio is so creepy. I have no idea where this guy's gone. <laughs> How did that not finish him? Whoa! Now, did that kill him? Because I'm almost dead. I feel like... No, nope, red door's gone. Man, that was down to the wire, though. We only had about... 5% uh, health left then, I reckon. Not much in that at all. No worries at all, Charlie. All good, man. All good. <laughs> I need to find an enemy so I can kill them and take their health. All right. The old generator puzzle. I love a good generator puzzle. Oh. Boop. All right, now, where, oh, where is the other generators. Is there a generator dispensary? Here's one we can take. Oh, did that follow me out the door or not quite? Mm, right. Uh, now, is that it or do we need a third down? I don't know if that one needs one as well. It must, because nothing's happened. Ah, look, there it is. All right, now that should be the final piece of that puzzle. Doors opening. How are we doing? I feel like I just heard an elevator ding. Hey, here we go. Elevator ding? Yes, please. Oh, now these guys here with the with the names on them, a uh, little bit more health. Um, but there are some. What do they call those? Bureau alerts or whatever. It's a couple of bureau alerts specifically dealing with those uh, the named bad guys. They're the ones we're talking about. Oh man, how did that not finish him off? Another one! Come on, Ah, two for one. I love a good two for one with a slab of concrete. Boom. Still more. Think we were meant to go back? Oh, my. Uh, it's gotten very late. Sorry. <laughs> I've got things to do, places to be. I apologize for an abrupt end. Uh, sorry, time got away from me. I was uh, meaning to do a bit more of a lead into the exit than this, but I apologize. I've got to jump. Uh, thank you very much for watching youtube.com slash We do live Let's Plays Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sunday night, 8 p.m. Australian Eastern.
right here. And it would be awesome if you could join us. Also, check out the channel uh, premiering tomorrow night, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. on the channel, The Tourist. A little something special Steve and I have been working on. So that's tomorrow night, 8 p.m. on the channel. Check it out. Uh, thank you very much. Like it, subscribe it. You'll never miss it. Uncle Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> <Gee> donkey. <laughs>